Welcome to this new video. In this video, we will be seeing about the difference between previous month and day tag function in Power BI tags. So you might think that, okay, both the function we can use for the same purpose, but there is a diff little difference between both the function and when to use it. So we will see accordingly. So when you go to the details of previous month, it returns a table that contains a column of all dates from the previous month based on the first date in the dates column in the current context. So the problem is whichever date you want in the previous month, month you see in this table in the previous month you are not getting the exact date exact sales value of the date of the previous month instead you are getting that overall total of the previous month but at the same time in the date chart function it returns a table that contain a column of date shifted either forward or backward in the time of specified number of intervals if you, if you give minus one in date add and choose month then you will be getting the exact previous month that day's value that means okay with this 16.45 is the sales value what happened in january 03 but if you see in the previous month it is showing the overall sum of the previous month so we will check whether it is how it is working so we have two tables here in one table we are having the month and a year and the second table we have the proper date and see we will check whether the difference between previous month and the date had so we will create a measure here and we will name the measure as date add equals to calculate and ordered sales this is the sum of all the orders sales then we will do date add and we can get the date and we will give it as minus one and the interval as month we can select the table and we can copy it and here since we don't have any day value only month and the year it is showing the sum of all the months of the previous you can see the january it is 14000 that is exactly it is showing in the february date as so here also we will say but here if you see you can see third january it is not showing anything because that is a before that nothing is there so now if you see third february it is showing what is the value for third january that is 16.45 so that is a big difference between here if you are having the date exact date it is showing the exact date value if it is a month that is showing the month value also but how previous month is showing we will see so pre equals to calculate ordered sales previous month date so we will drag it to the first table first table of course we can expect the same thing monthly previous values it is showing with respect to the month now in this one we will check and see how it is showing here so we will clear here and see here we have the exact date day by day but still here it is showing the previous month overall total that is 14 to 36 that is the overall total of the previous month but at the same time if you do date ads you are getting the day by day value so that is a difference between previous month and the day Dates. So if you if you need the day by day value, if you need the exact day of what happened the previous month, better to use date add function instead of previous month because previous month there is a chance that it is going to give the sum of the total. Month. So if you are using a slicer, the value will differ. Hope this was an interesting video. Have a nice day.